Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Blessings by Tom Walker. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo, and we're going to be just working with two strings, the low E and the G string. So I'm going to teach you the verse, the intro, and then the chorus, and that's all I'll be teaching you. So we're going to start out with the intro. You're going to start with your index finger on the 7th fret of the low E, middle finger on the 7th fret of the G, and we're going to pick both those strings at the same time, and then just pick the G. Next we're going to slide down to the 6th fret with our middle finger and the 5th fret with our index finger on a low E. So it sounds like this. And then we're going to come back to the 7th fret, play those two, go back to the 5th and 6th fret, play them, and slide that same shape down to the 3rd fret and the 4th fret. So your index is on the 3rd, middle is on the 4th of the G. So that second part is quickly like this. Okay, so stringing all that together, we have this. After you do that, you're going to slide all the way up to the 10th fret with your index finger and 11th fret with your middle finger. Okay, so that second part sounds like this. After you do that on the 10th and 11th fret, you go back to the 3rd and 4th, and you play twice, so you play the two strings and then the G, and you slide back up to the 10th and 11th, and then you come back to the 3rd and 4th, play that G twice, and slide up to the 5th and the 6th. And that's how the introduction sounds. So I'm going to walk through this very slowly, <clears throat> so we're going to start on our 7th fret, shift down, back to the 7th fret, all the way up to the 10th fret, back to the 3rd fret, 10th fret, go to the 3rd fret, back to the 5th fret. One more time here. <clears throat> and that's how the intro sounds. So next I'm going to teach you the verse, which sounds like this. And there's a couple variations in there, we'll go through the whole thing. But So we're going to start out in the same manner that we did the intro. So you're going to start on the 7th fret, play those two notes, and then hit that G twice, slide down to the 5th fret, come back to the 7th fret, shift, Go back to the 3rd fret, just like we did in the intro, but instead of going all the way up to the 10th fret here, we're going to go down to the 2nd fret, and your middle finger stays on the 3rd fret of the G. Okay, so that sounds like this. And in the verse we do this twice. After we do that, <coughs> you go up to the 7th fret down to the 5th and the 6th like we normally do. We're going to go 7th, 5th, 3rd, and then up to the 9th. But then instead of going back to the 3rd like we normally do, when you go to the 10th fret there, we just go back to our 7th um, fret and start over. so that you go right back here. Okay, so I'm gonna play through the whole chorus here, so I'm gonna go out nice and slow. Sorry, this isn't the chorus, this is actually the verse. This is where it changes. Okay, so that's how the verse sounds. The chorus is very similar to the verse and the introduction. In fact, the chorus is exactly the same as the introduction. So the first part of the chorus sounds like this. And 
the second part of the chorus is similar to the verse, so it sounds like this. So the chorus is just a mix of the intro and the verse. So I went through that very quickly, but that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.